joining me now for the latest edition of Know Your Knights is Knights Forward for the NAHL. That's Adrian Danchenko. And Adrian, thanks for uh, giving us a few minutes here after practice. No problem. So we'll, uh, we'll jump right into it. Um, you guys are coming off a big weekend. You come away with a weekend sweep coming off the Christmas break against the Kenai River. You're going to have uh, the Fairbanks Ice Dogs in town uh, this upcoming weekend, and we'll get to that in just a second. But we were talking to your coach, Tom Kowal, yesterday, um, and we were talking about your game and how it's grown lately and in the last couple of years here. Uh, but just from your perspective, uh, how, how do you feel that, you know, in the last three or four months now, uh, you felt your game, your game has developed? Um, I think it's just uh, developed really nicely, you know. I just keep it simple, mm -hmm. go to the net, get pucks there, and, you know, good things happen. Sure. Uh, just, you know, for, from the team's perspective, um, you know, the month of December, you guys didn't have a ton of games, but you came out and you finished strong uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks there. Uh, and, you know, that also carried over to your individual stats. I think you're on a three-game point streak right now. Um, just what's been working for you guys lately? Um, we've just uh, been communicating a lot, you know, getting uh, to know your line mates and, mm -hmm. you know, just playing hard. Mm -hmm. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up in the next question. Actually, um, you know, you've played a lot of minutes this year with uh, Reed Robinson and Mike Morrissey. Mm -hmm. Lately, you've been kind of bouncing around a little bit with Tyrone Bronte. Uh, I believe you played. Uh, was it uh, Angle Kiss? Angle Kiss. Yep, Justin Angle Kiss this weekend. Um, so you know, just it seems like wherever you end up, you know, you're producing. and Those lines are doing well. Um, we don't keep track, of course, here those fancy stats here, but. Right. Um, you know, I would guess that on this team, you're probably pretty high up there in those categories, just in terms of, you know benefiting your line mates, but what do you feel, you know, when despite, you know, being switched around a little bit lately, uh, what do you feel works? I know you mentioned communication, but what's working for you? Yeah, that's huge, and, you know, just uh, keeping the game simple, you know, since we haven't played together a whole lot, just, uh, just do what uh, we have to do, play the game, and, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll play off me too. Yeah, absolutely, and now we did we talked about just a few minutes ago there, but uh, Fairbanks is coming in this weekend, they're like you guys, very similarly. Uh, leading their division, there are a lot of similar category stats um, in terms of how they score, and, and you know how often they score, and how little they give up amount in terms of uh, just goals and defense in general. But um, what do you expect from them? You know, you you guys play them every year, but uh, what do you expect? Uh, this I weekend? expect a um, hard hitting big team. You know, I can definitely pass the puck. They're really uh, really good at that last year. So we just need to have good D zone because we can put pucks in the net. Sure. It's just all about. Uh, Playing better. Sure, sure. All right. Well, with that, we'll uh, we'll flip it over to our, our rapid fire session. We'll start with a couple of easy ones here. Um, you're from Florida. What's your are, what's your favorite hockey team? Uh, they have to be the Lightning. Lightning. Okay. Yeah. They're all from the <laughs> yeah. How about non hockey? Non hockey team. Non hockey team. You know, I don't really uh, watch too much. Okay. Too many other sports. Okay. But well, I must have said the Dolphins. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna ask you for Jacksonville, but yeah, that makes sense too. Mm -hmm. Miami down there. Okay. Um, what about uh, favorite hockey? Let's let's put it this way. We phrased it with a couple other guys earlier this year, but if you're a Lightning fan, am I guessing right that you're gonna pick one of the? If you could pick any NHL player to be your line mate, would it come from Tampa or were you going somewhere else? Um, I might say Stamkos. Yeah, Stamkos, okay. he's just a phenomenal player, yeah. and I try to play like him. Okay, yeah, no, it's a good it's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, how about you know we just had New Year's. Um, what's uh, what's a New Year's resolution for you? It can be hockey related. It doesn't have to be hockey related. What's one? Um, about? New Year's resolutions. Uh, eat better, I guess. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Eat a lot of sweets. You know. Yeah. Like, put in a little more vegetables. On okay. The plate. A little more green. A little more yeah. green. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do the same thing. Um, Christmas was recent. Um, this is putting you on the spot here a little bit. Um, but yeah, you know, Christmas two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Best Christmas gift I've ever gotten. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez. I guess uh, when I was younger, I used when you get sticks for Christmas. Sure. When I got uh, my APX. Okay. Definitely my uh, favorite. Game. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Um, all right, we'll do one NHL video game related question. We always ask guys about ratings and stuff, but right. for you specifically, because you've turned in a couple highlight reel goals this year, um, what would you say? <laughs> Where would you put, you can be as modest as you want, you can be as, uh, you know, cocky as you want here, but where would you put your D grading in, uh, in D if grading. you put yourself in NHL? Um, I don't know, I'd like to say like a 93, 94. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say you'd have to go at least 90, I was yeah. going to be upset. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I'll be honest, like we've, you know, when you guys go on the road and 
I watch the broadcast on hockey TV, even even the opposing team's broadcasters are talking about your hands out there. So yeah, keep that up for sure. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah we, sure. we like it. <laughs> Not likes it. Uh, we'll round out with this one. This one we ask everybody. Um, uh, you know, for whatever reason, you end up stranded on a on a deserted island. We'll be able to pick one teammate to come with you. Uh, who is it and why? Um, I think it would definitely be Reed Robinson. Reed. He can just, uh, just nice to hang out with him. Yeah. Keep me calm. Sure. You sure. Know, <laughs> figure out something, I guess. Yeah, I, I think we've in the times we've asked that question, he's come up with a couple of them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that veteran leadership, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, we look forward to seeing you guys out there this weekend. The Knights will be taking on the Fairbanks Ice Dogs on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, and then once again, uh, the Ice Dogs on Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. And Adrian will be out there along with the rest of the Knights. They look to keep their winning streak going against a good Fairbanks Ice Dogs team. But once again, Adrian, we uh, thank you for uh, giving us a few minutes here. We look forward to seeing you out there on this weekend. Sounds good.